Nano Machine. Bai, An Hong Weolya. Chapter 234. True Successor. Part 1. About 10 miles east from the demonic cult's castle, there were 300 warriors from the Buju Sword moving on a horse. They left late, and the sky was already getting dark so they had to prepare to camp soon. They were on a hill with dense bushes, but they saw a large open field bit away from where they were that can be used to camp. But what they were looking for was a campsite. Jukum received a telepathic message from his lieutenant. This should do, sir. Jukum then glanced over at the darkened sky in the area and nodded. There weren't any people here so it seemed like a good place. Jukum then got next to Chen Youwen who was riding ahead and pulled out his sword. At that, all other warriors also pulled out their swords. Chen Youwen then turned his head. What is the meaning of this? Jukum smirked at Youwen's question and shouted. Meaning? It means that you will die here. D. With that, Jukum's lieutenant rode his horse toward Yoan with force chi over his sword to strike down Yoan's head. Hu hu hu. I was wondering when you will reveal your intention. Hu <laughs> hu. The laughter seemed feminine. That's when Chen Yoan quickly pulled out the blade to defend and cut down the lieutenant's neck at once. Lieutenant was a super master level warrior, but he was no match for a superior master warrior. Jukum turned cold and spoke. So, you will resist then, crown prince? Well, you see. I'm not the crown prince. What? Chen Youwen then reached down toward his chest and pulled up to throw the mask away. The face revealed underneath was the face of Huan Yi. What? Huan Yi pressed down on below his chin. He had two masks over his face. Oh, that was close. I almost took off both masks. Huhu. <laughs> e Elder Wan. Jukum became shocked that the person they brought here was not the crown prince, but Chen Youwen. They left right away after they came into contact with Chen Youwen. Since when the crown prince was replaced? W, wait. You mean to say that you were acting as crown prince since we met? Wow, you're right. Correct answer. This meant that the Huan Yi they met at the mansion was actually Chen Youwen. They thought they had led Youwen into the trap, but they and the Lord were fooled instead. Jukum then shouted with rage. Elder Huan, how dare you disobey the order of the Lord? Disobey? Wasn't the Lord's order to fight the enemy? Since when was the order changed to let him die? Huan Yi spoke sarcastically and Jukum shouted at his warriors. We will kill this traitor and return immediately. Yes, sir. Well, you sure have a lot of people here, but can you really catch up to me if I run away? Most were top class warriors and there were over 50 master level warriors. But that didn't mean they could catch up to Huan Yi, a superior master level warrior running away. Jukum smirked. You think we weren't ready when we knew we were up against superior master warriors? GRRRRR. At the same time, warriors from the Buju clan began to growl like beasts. Their eyes all turned bloodshot red and Huani frowned. Oh. I didn't expect this. Buju sword. They too were forces who had learned blood reversion art. Huani became tense that maybe he might not be able to run away. At the same time inside the great halls, all the clan leaders were shocked by the sudden appearance of Chen Youwen. They were told that Chen Youwen was sent to Bakgun Castle to fight against the Blade God's Six Martial Clan, so they didn't imagine he would sneak in by faking himself as Huan Yi. Crown Prince? What is going on here? That's strange. He sounded just like Elder Huan Yi. Those who had talked with Huan Yi before couldn't find any strangeness in Youwen's voice. Changing user's voice to normal. Humph humph. Ah. Youwen coughed and tested his voice as it returned to normal. His voice was changed by Nano, so even the Lord who had talked with Huan Yi many times couldn't figure out if it was imitated. He learned evil magic. The Lord glared as he watched Yoan's voice returning back to normal. He then found his coldness back. Did Elder Huan create the mask for him? If so, then it was likely that the one who was sent out of the castle was Elder Huan. He knew that Huan Yi sided with Chen Yoan, but he didn't think he would do so far to turn his back against the Lord. How dare! The Lord knew about Chen Youwen's boldness, but this was crossing the line. If he had shown himself in this meeting, then it was sure that Youwen was here to settle the score with the Lord in front of all the clan leaders. Are you doing this from the trust of the Great Guardian? It wasn't sure how, but the Great Guardian was freed from the poison parasite's control. And he was also taken into Youwen's forces, so it seemed Youwen was thinking he had gotten out of his trap. But you had made a mistake. The person who had the upper hand here was still the Lord himself. The Lord's palace was a sacred place where only the Lord could decide what to do. What is the meaning of this, Crown Prince? How dare you disobey my order and sneak into the great halls? This is an act of treason. The Lord spoke authoritatively and the atmosphere became heavy. 
As the Lord said, what Chun Waiyuan did was an act of treason. Yuan, however, looked back coldly, I have something to ask you before that. What? Why are you trying to blame me for killing second elder King Bonki in an ambush and trying to dethrone me? Everyone turned their attention to Yuan at his question. They all heard the truth that the great guardian revealed. Blame, but the Lord didn't seem to be worried. He then ordered over at the great guardian still on his one knee. Great guardian. Crown Prince Chen Yuan has disobeyed my order. Arrest him. I cannot follow your order. The great guardian did not follow the order. The Lord already knew that Mara Kim had sided with Yoan now, so this was expected. The Lord then shouted to all elders and clan leaders. Look, great guardian Mara Kim is now listening to the crown prince, rather than myself. How can you trust his words? The great halls fell silent. This was what the Lord had in mind. Every clan leader began to think differently, as they too saw the great guardian disobeying the order of the Lord. No. Mara Kim looked up at the Lord with shocked eyes. He knew that the Lord was not going down easily, but he didn't imagine he would use Marakim's new allegiance against him. I see that you are very loyal to the crown prince. But a mistake needs to be dealt with punishment. The Lord snapped his fingers and the palace guards appeared. Arrest the crown prince and the great guardian. Yes, my lord. And it was when they tried to walk over to them that they heard noise at the entrance. Stop. You must stop. Move. What? Ashashuesh? You aren't servants. Chapter 235. True Successor. Part 2. Elder Ean. Go now. Guards at the gate were trying to stop someone bursting into the great halls, but the person burst open the gate and walked in. Everyone became shocked to find someone coming in. It was 10th Elder Ean Moha who entered. But her late appearance wasn't the reason for the surprise. Tea that clothing? She was wearing a black top and white skirt that female servants of the palace wore. That alone was weird but she had something dragging with her one hand that shocked people. It was a giant body that was partly burned. I am sorry about joining the meeting. I had to bring this important piece of evidence. Ean Moha used her force energy to move the body into the middle of the halls. And when people saw the body floating over, they were shocked. What? The body had veins popping up from all over the body. A part of it was burned, but it was easy to recognize its face. It was King Bonki, the second elder and leader of the Sword Clan. Be blood reversion art? It's blood reversion art? The body was twice as large as King Bonki's original body and the veins and enlarged muscles proved that he had used blood reversion art. The Great Guardian said the truth. Second elder used blood reversion art. The halls began to become noisy. What happened? Where's Pahin? Lord Chen Yuzhong frowned. He ordered Pahin to burn the body and never let others enter. But it seemed Ian Moha had pulled it out of the incinerator and brought it. Here. You. What are you? Move out of the way. And outside the gate to the great halls, female servants and hall guards were trying to stop palace guards from entering the halls. Yuwak. What's with that woman? Aarg. A tall female servant who was taller than most large men snatched one of the palace guards' feet and swung him like an axe to strike down the other palace guards. What are they? The Lord had scattered all members under Chen Yuan. If so, who were these warriors who faked themselves as palace staff to block the great halls? Yoan smiled. This was Yoan's force that the Lord did not know of. They were his servants who stayed behind at the demonic academy. Good job Hubong. You are right on time. With left guardian Li Haming being arrested, everything in the demonic academy was put on hold. Instructors were also imprisoned inside the academy for the investigation, but Yoan's members did not stay behind in the dormitory. No one will pass through me. The tall female staff who fought valiantly at the gate was Ho Sangwa. And someone ran up to Ho Sangwa frantically as he shouted, and move out, girl. You'll have to defeat me if you want to go. The man was Pahin, the leader of the palace guards. His face was bruised and he was in a pretty bad state from being beaten by Ian Moha at the incinerator. Damn girl. Pahin was already embarrassed by losing to some young female servant, so he furiously unleashed his sword formation at Ho Sangwa. Ho Sangwa then took the sword that she snatched from the palace guard and defended herself. Damn it. Since when did such monstrous girls sneak into the palace? Pahin tried to shoot past her, but he was injured and Ho Sangwa wasn't weak. What is going on? Something's not right. Clan leaders began getting up from their seats as they realized things weren't going as normal. They just thought Chen Yuan was acting to remove the blame, but it seems that wasn't only it. Oomph. The Lord sighed deeply. His plan had already failed when Yin Moha brought the body of King Bonki. Chen Yuzhong glared furiously and threatened Chen Yuan. 
Crown Prince. Do you really intend to bring this to an end? And Chun Yeowen answered casually. I told you. I am here to succeed you as the next lord. How dare you? The lord moved quickly over to Yeowen to attack. Yeowen already sensed energy being gathered at the lord's fingers so he took steps to dodge it. The lord then pointed at Yeowen and shouted, I order every elder and clan leader to arrest these traitors. There was no more need to talk. He had to use his authority to overpower Chun Yeowen now. With the lord's order being made, a few clan leaders tried to charge at Yeowen, Mara Kim, and Ian Moha. Guards inside the hall also tried to attack. Ugh. But some of the guards were suddenly struck and thrown to the back. They looked dumbfoundedly at the ones that attacked them. W what, why? Ten miles east of the demonic cult's castle, there was a chase going on during the dark night. GGRRRRRR stop. Warriors with enlarged muscles and reddened eyes growled as they chased someone. In front of them, 11th Elder Huan Yi was running away. Ugh. His clothes were drenched in blood. There weren't any who were stronger than him, but with 300 warriors using blood reversion art, he had no way but to run. Huan Yi was barely able to get out of the warriors surrounding him, but he also had a heavy injury. Agyesh, ah. Uh. And Jukum, with his senses increased to that of a beast, heard heavy panting coming out of Huan Yi's mouth. It wasn't going to be long. Kikik, you can't run away from us. Soon, they will be at a plane. At that place, warriors could shoot sword chi or throw spears to attack Huan Yi. And when they shot through bushes, Huan Yi suddenly stopped. His eyes were filled with despair. In the distance, there were hundreds of warriors on horses that flashed another military group flag from the demonic cult. The reason why Huan Yi stopped was because the flag was from the Blade and Lust clan. Huan Yi moaned and shook his head. This is unexpected. Crown Prince. I guess this is it for me. At least I'm glad that I was able to help during the last moment. Huh <laughs> GRRRRR. This is the end. Elder Huan. Kakaka Kaka. Jukum grinned. Warriors from the Buju sword began to draw near Huan Yi. Huan Yi clenched his blade. If he was going to die here, then he had to use all of the energy he had to kill as many as enemies he could. And as he began to bring the energy up? Warriors of the Great Demonic Cult. By the order of our great Chun Ma, hunt down these devilish fiends who have learned blood reversion art. Ah! Huan Yi became shocked. A warrior with gray armor standing in the front shouted with his sword. Charge! Wa Awea! Over 400 warriors immediately pulled out their weapons and began to charge against Jukum and his warriors who were under influence of the blood reversion art. W what is going on? Jukum frowned as he thought these warriors had come to his aid, as they held flag of the blade and lust clan. And at the same time in the great halls, Chen Yujong grimaced as he watched some people with disbelief. He was looking at elders. Bu Chiriang, Jia Qingkang, Hang Soyu, and Mang O were attacking the palace guards who were trying to attack Chen. Yo Wen. Why you? Chapter 236. True Successor. Part 3. Four hours ago, at the mansion of the Blade Clan located southeast of the demonic cult's castle. There were many warriors of the Blade Clan surrounding the main building, ready to strike at any signal. Inside the office, two men were talking with each other. One man was the third elder and leader of the Blade Clan, Bu Churyong and another man was Chun Yeowen. Yeowen was holding onto a skin mask. If Yeowen did not pull it off, then Bu Churyong might have thought he was Huan Yi. They have a good defensive system. The Blade Clan, as it was considered the third strongest clan in the cult, quickly reacted to Chen Yeowen's appearance by having half of their warriors surround the building. What will he do? This was a bet that Chen Yeowen was making. If he couldn't turn the tide here, then everything was going to fail before he could even start. Blade Clan, they have control over the northeast side of our cult toward the Kongdong Castle. If I can persuade him. Then there was a way to help Huan Yi who had gone out of the castle. Yeowen couldn't send help from inside, so he required help from the four clans who had forces outside the castle. The problem was that Yeowen's relationship with them was at its worst. Hmm. Bu Churyong was in deep thought. If Yeowen did not come as Huan Yi at first, Bu Churyong would either refuse to meet with Chen Yeowen or tie him up and report him to the Lord. Is what he says true? There was a reason why Bu Churyong hesitated. What Chen Yeowen said was actually what he and the other elders had been feeling. It had been growing even stronger after they fought at the battle at Jerkang Castle. Aside from our relationship, what he is saying is reasonable. If this persists, the next target will be us. The Lord just decided to strike down on the Crown Prince, the biggest force in the entire cult right now. This wasn't expected from any of the four clans. 
And from how things were going, if the four clans did not act on the Lord's orders, it wasn't certain as to what he might do after. We don't have much time. Yoan spoke to Buchuryong. There were about four hours until the great meeting. Buchuryong then spoke to him. Crown Prince. Are you aware that I can turn you over to the Lord right now if I wanted to? Of course, if that is what you choose to do. Buchuryong frowned at Yoan's casual answer. After meeting a few times, Buchuryong now realized who this man was. But the more he knew, the more he had to acknowledge the boldness. Crown Prince. We four clans are the foundation of the cult, but we still bow our heads to the Chun family. Do you know why? Our cult serves the demon god and the fire. The one who communicates with them is the Lord and that is because the Chun family has been chosen to do that. Hundreds of thousands of cultists in the demonic cult had served the Lord who could communicate with gods as their leader for a long time. This was something that six clans could never have, even if they had more power, and it was the foundation of the cult itself. Without this, there was no cult. Thus, the six clans never tried to overthrow the Lord. What you are trying to do now is to overthrow that foundation. Without justification, this fight will go nowhere. This was the same even if Chen Yuan was from the Chen family. The demonic cult was a group of people, and a religious sect. Even if Yuan was successful in his revolution, there was no way to become leader of these religious people without justification. You are saying that I won't be able to prove myself as the true Lord. Yes, that is correct. Even with our relationship aside, there isn't a reason for us to follow your words. That's when something weird began to happen. The black wrist guard over at Yoan's wrist came apart itself and began shaping into a certain shape. T this. And when he saw the shape turning into glowing black sword, Buchuryong got up from his seat. Elder. What is going on in there? His advisor quickly sent a telepathic message as he thought something had happened inside, trying to burst in at any moment. But the message that returned told them never to come in. And four hours later, Chun Yuzhong was furious to see the elders guarding Chun. Yoan with their backs. Chun Yuzhong and none of the clan leaders thought these elders would fight to protect the crown prince. W what is going on? W why are they protecting the crown prince? Ugh, what should I do? The clan leaders who tried to attack Yoan, Mara Kim and Ian Moha had to stop as things began to revolve strangely. The Lord, with reddened eyes possibly from being too enraged, glared at elders. You dare oppose my orders? The Lord began to unleash furious energy. It was pressuring and heavy that everyone inside the hall began to go pale. Ugh. W Watts with this energy. The only ones who could withstand the energy being unleashed from the Supreme Master Warrior were the elders, Chen Yoan, and Mara Kim. I thought his internal damage wasn't healed. Elders became grim at such difference in power. The Lord, one of the top five warriors of Jianghu, was surely someone that cannot be matched easily. Can the crown prince really succeed? Hang Soyu, the leader of the Lust clan was sweating on her forehead. She decided to help Chen Yuan, but facing such energy brought her fears. The Lord spoke again. Are you truly betraying me? The voice was very hostile, and it seemed like the Lord would charge the moment he heard the answer. Elders fell silent and without answering and the Lord began to grow furious. This is treason. They are not committing treason. Chen Yuan jumped in. The Lord became dumbfounded and tried to shout when Yuan's black wrist guard began to make a move. It scattered into black pieces of metal and began to form a shape. It shaped itself into a beautiful black sword. Everyone became shocked by such a magical sight and looked at the sword. Sky Demon Sword. So everyone saw the engraving on the blade. Sky Demon Sword. The writing also seemed very familiar. It was almost the same as the monument left by Father Chen Ma that was placed outside the courtyard of the Lord's Palace. Sky Demon Sword? Chapter 237 True Successor Part 4 What is going on? Why is that name on the Crown Prince's sword? Every clan leader became shocked and turned to the Black Sword. It very closely resembled the Sky Demon Sword that Lord had, but the color was even darker and had a different vibe to it. H how did he get that? Chen Yuzhong became shocked. There was no way that Chen Yuzhong would not recognize the black sword that he had since the day he became the Lord. He also had the Sky Demon Sword on his waist right now, but that was fake. No former lords had found the true demon sword that Father Chen Ma had left in the past hundreds of years. I can sense ominous demonic energy from the sword. It was as real as ever. The Lord became so shocked that he even forgot he was angry. Is that sword the reason why they are helping him? The reason why elders helped Chen Yuan was now revealed. If Chen Yuzhong acknowledged that Yuan's sword was the true Sky Demon Sword, then he was acknowledging that Chen Yuan was Chen Ma now. No, that can't be. 
It can't be true. The Lord shook his head. That's when he heard whispers in his ears. It's over if you accept it. Prove that the sword is fake, or you have no other way to get out of this situation. Lord became surprised and turned to where the sound was coming from. A one, armed man was standing under the shadow of a giant pillar behind the elder's seats, looking at him. Yu Jing. How did you? It was his brother, Chen Yu Jing. Chen Yu Zhang told him to stay away from the great halls, but he was here now. This is no time for you to think about me. If you don't put your act together, you might lose your throne. Break that sword. Chen Yu Zhang then became silent. His brother was right. He couldn't let the sword be considered real. The Lord then reached out at Yuan's sword. The sword. I want to see it. What? Elders flinched and shook their head. They weren't sure what the Lord might do if he lay his hand on the sword. Of course. But Chen Yuan gave the sword by offering it with his palms up. The Lord then reached out to pull the sword with his energy. He had used 30% of his energy but the sword didn't move from Yuan's hand. Are you playing tricks with me? The Lord roared and Yuan smiled and sent the sword up in the air and made it fly to the Lord. Chen Yuzhong then held the hilt with his left hand. He was thinking of sending internal energy into the sword to make it weak, and break it with his right hand by force chi of sword. Aarg, W what is this? At the moment he held the sword, he was filled with searing pain. The Lord let go of the sword and found the burnt injury on his hand. This stupid sword. The Lord then tried to swing his right hand that had wielded force chi, and something astounding happened. Kai Aia. Ugh. A giant black dragon suddenly appeared and was roaring at the Lord. The Lord got so shocked that he quickly took steps to distance himself from the dragon. And when he got back, his eyes became large from shock. How can this be? The black dragon disappeared and there was only the sky demon sword floating over in the air. Yoan smiled and reached out and the sword flew over to his hand. The sky demon sword refused to be held by the Lord, but it was calm under Chen Yoan's hand. I, it's the sky demon sword. That really is the sky demon sword. Some of the clan leaders shouted in excitement. These were leaders from the oldest clans, who had heard legends about the sky demon sword since they were young. They heard that the sky demon sword, created from the bones and blood of the black dragon, was a legendary sword that chose its own master. The sky demon sword accepted the crown prince as its master. That's when Ko Wangin from the demon fist shouted. And beginning with that, the atmosphere began to change. The owner of Sky Demon was the one who succeeded the name of Chun Ma and should be considered as the true master of the demonic cult. No way. The Lord bit his lips. He tried to break down the sword, but it actually worked against him by letting it prove that it was actually the Sky Demon sword. It's time. That's when Great Guardian Marakim got up from his knees. He then pulled out the blue metal from his pocket and flashed it at the clan leaders and shouted, Cultists of the Great Demonic Cult. Listen to the Sky Demon Order. A sky demon order? Clan leaders became shocked and turned to the metal. On the metal that the great guardian was holding, it had the sky demon order engraved on it. Every clan leader began to kneel to the ground to bow. No one was allowed to stand still against the sky demon order, which was the authority given by the founding father himself. Even the elders began to kneel down on the ground to bow. G great guardian. Lord grimaced at the great guardian who was showing off his hidden identity in front of everyone. Marakim shouted. I, Mara Kim, guardian of the Sky Demon Order, now send a message from Father Chun Ma to you all. Glory to the demonic cult. Everyone shouted in unison at Mara Kim's voice. Mara Kim then declared. By passing the test left by Father Chun Ma, Crown Prince Chun Yuan, wielder of the Sky Demon Sword, is now being appointed as the new Chun Ma. Chun Yuan then knelt on one knee and bowed at the Sky Demon Order. Chun Yuan, descendant of the Great Founding Father, accepts your order. Everyone then shouted with joy. The new Chen Ma had finally appeared after hundreds of years. This was an amazing event for the demonic cult. Woya. Chuma. Glory to the demonic cult. And Chen Yuzhong, who was watching them, grimaced even more. Aarg. This can't be. This can't be. He then glared with a reddened face back at Chen Yujing. Chen Yujing's advice actually worked against Chen Yuzhong. Chen Yujing shook his head. Well, you lost to a chess piece. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you again, brother. Heh. How dare. How dare you show such disrespect to your lord? Everyone became silent at the lord's roar that rang through the hall. Everyone looked up and saw the lord angrily shouting at the pillar of the hall. Ah. Yoan and other elders were bitter from what they saw. At the back of the pillar where the lord was glaring at, there was no one. Chapter 238. True Successor. Part 5. 
The Lord was unleashing his anger as if there was someone there behind the pillar. But there was no one there. Every person in the hall became shocked as they couldn't sense or see anyone there. What? W.Y. is he doing that? The Lord's action was shocking indeed. Yoan frowned while looking at the Lord truly doing this, and remembered the conversation from yesterday at the peak of Five Wise Peak. In Moha asked Marakim then, Great Guardian, why did you have to change the date to an earlier date? That is, because the Lord has been pushing me away lately. He's pushing you away? In Moha asked back, confused. But it was true. Ever since the underground treasure vault was revealed, the Lord looked very suspiciously at the Great Guardian. When Mara Kim was on different missions outside the office of the Lord's palace, he now had people watching over him. Mara Kim then realized he couldn't act on his own any longer, so he had to change the date. I am reluctant to say this, but there have been problems with the Lord lately. No. I should say he changed. A change? What do you mean? Did something happen to him? The Great Guardian's explanation was vague so In Moha became curious. Well, we can say something might have happened. Marakim was a great guardian who guarded the Lord by his side. That's why he was quick to find out the change that came to the Lord. And throughout the conversation, Marakim was considering this issue very seriously. The Lord has been very different from what you are seeing right now, Lord Chenma. What do you mean? He may be cold-hearted, but it doesn't mean he holds affection toward the cult itself. I am not sure about that. Yoan couldn't agree with that. From what he saw in the past few days, the Lord was only making inner groups to fight against each other. With a giant enemy upon them, the Lord should be trying to have all forces to work together, but it seemed the Lord only cared about his own throne. I know it is unconvincing to say it. So, what is the change? Yoan asked and Marakim answered grimly. The Lord has been talking to someone lately. Someone? Who? It's Prince Chen Yujing. Chen Yujing was a former candidate to the heir in the Demonic Academy, and had lost his arm in the competition, and also a brother of Chen Yuzhong's. It wasn't strange if Chen Yuzhong was talking to his brother a lot as he lost his trust in Mara Kim. W what are you talking about? He talks with Prince Chen Yujing? What nonsense! In Moha was so shocked and responded dumbfoundedly. Chen Yuan did not know the reason why In Moha was reacting like that. What are you talking about? Why doesn't it make sense? My prince. Prince Chen Yujing of the Sword Clan was killed by Power King Hang. Yen in the war against the forces of evil 15 years ago. What? Power King Hang Yen was the strongest warrior who still ruled the forces of evil even to this day. He had been staying on top of the five warriors of Jianghu for the last 30 years. 15 years ago? Was it from the battle at the Sawan Plains? The war 15 years ago was quite famous. Demonic cult tried to hide it, but when Chun Inji going missing was revealed, the forces of evil took the chance to invade into the cult's territory. That's when Chen Yuzhong, who had not shown his power then, became one of the new top five warrior of the Jianghu. Wait. So, is he talking with a ghost? No. My guess is that he is talking to an illusion. Illusion? Mara Kim found this out at the battle at Jerkang Castle. At the time, he was busy tending to his own wound, but realized that the Lord had changed at some point. The Lord began talking against a wall without anyone, or a dark place. It wasn't a long talk at the beginning but, Time began to grow longer and longer. Chen Yuzhong spoke as if his dead brother was alive and was staying with him. After witnessing this multiple times, Mara Kim thought this was a sign that the Lord's mental health was going south. Something is eating the Lord's sanity away. What do you think it is? That's. Mara Kim answered with his guess and Chen Yuan and In Moha became shocked and turned to something. They were looking at the body of King Bonki. Chen Yuan broke out of his thoughts as Bu Churiang carefully spoke to the Lord, who was still unleashing his fury. M? My Lord. If I may ask, who are you talking to right now? What? The Lord Chen Yuzhong then stopped and turned. Everyone in the hall had fallen silent already. Everyone was watching the Lord with a concerned look. The Lord then became confused and spoke. Why are you all looking at me with those eyes? We, your servants, are not sure who you are talking to right now. Bu Churiang spoke hesitantly and the Lord dumbfoundedly pointed behind the pillar and spoke. Are you trying to fool me? Don't you see Master Chen Yujing standing behind that pillar? And with that, everyone including Bu Churiang became shocked. They all knew that Chen Yujing was killed in the war against forces of evil and his body was burned. Kakik. This is becoming very interesting. What did you say? The Lord still clearly saw Chen Yujing standing by the pillar. He was cackling as if this situation was very amusing. This made the Lord become more furious. 
If you do that one more time, I will not forgive you. Be gone from the halls. You are not allowed in here. Chapter 239. True Successor. Part 6. Wu Churiong frowned as he watched the Lord shouting at the pillar. He wasn't sure if he could believe Yohan, but this confirmed Yohan's claim. Something really happened to the Lord. This was not something that can be considered lightly. If the Lord, leader of 100,000 cultists, lost his sanity, then it meant a giant boat was without its captain. Great Guardian Marakim knelt down on his knee and shouted. My Lord. There is no one behind that pillar. And Prince Chun Yujing died a long time ago. What? Marakim revealed the truth in hopes that the Lord might come back. If the Lord did not accept that he was going mad and accept that he be treated, then the situation was going to get worse. Please, you have to go see the demon doctor too. That's when a sharp energy shot past his neck. His right side was left with a cut and blood dripped down from it. If he moved his head a bit slower, his head would have been cut off. Doctor? Ha! Huh? Now I see it. All of you are here to commit treason by saying that I am mad. Ah, uh, Marakim moaned. The Lord was now losing more control over his logic. It was getting worse. The Lord then pulled out his sword from his waist. It was the replica Sky Demon Sword. I will bring order to the cult again. My Lord. Chun Yuan grabbed Marakim's shoulder and shook his head. Marakim then glanced back at the Lord, but his eyes were now more red than ever. So, my guess was right. And with veins popping up over the Lord's forehead, the symptoms seemed very clear. Blood, reversion art. It was the blood reversion art. The side effect of it grew severe each time it was used. It allowed the user to increase their energy greatly, but the reverse flow of internal energy slowly damaged the brain. I should have known then. At the fight in Jerkang Castle, cultists went against a powerful warrior that seemed to be the leader of the Blade God's Six Martial Clan. The enemy went straight against the Lord. After going through a hard fight, the Lord returned with an injury. Marakim. Hoped that his strange state was just because of the internal damage. But it wasn't. It seemed the Lord had used blood reversion art at the last moment. The only reason he kept his sanity until now was because he was at the supreme master level. It's you. Because of you, a mere chess piece, brought such disorder to the cult. I brought you to this world, so I will take your life away this time. The Lord then began charging against Chun Yuan the same way one would charge at an enemy, not a son. Yuan's eyes turned cold. You lost your sanity, but you still call me a chess piece. I guess that is how you saw me from the beginning then. Yohan wasn't disappointed. The only ones that he considered as parents were Lady Wa and Guard Jang. Yohan then aimed his sword at the Lord. Everyone, get back. Yes, Master. Elders who stood guard around Yohan immediately got away to where clan leaders were gathered. This fight wasn't just a fight between father and son. This fight was a fight to choose the true leader of the demonic cult. You have everything you need, but can you truly fight against the Lord? Elders looked at Chun Yuan. Lord Chun Yujong was now mad and had acquired internal damage, but he was still one of the top five warriors out of the entire Jianghu. He wasn't like the first elder Mu Jin one. The Lord disappeared suddenly. From where he stood and appeared in front of Chun Yuan. The force chi coming out from the replica Sky Demon Sword shot up to slice Yuan's neck. Ha! Huh. Yuan had already pulled up his Sky Demon Sword to block it. The Lord scoffed when Yuan defended himself from the attack. Good. Then try to block this. The Lord began to strike down with 100% of his energy and Yohan began to be pushed back. The difference in power was quite large. It isn't going to be easy. The Lord isn't weak. Elders and clan leaders became grim as they saw the fight. These two warriors were not at an equal power level. Don't try to be a fool. If it wasn't for the Sky Demon Sword, Yohan would have been cut down with the sword itself already. Yohan's eye narrowed as he felt the energy. He sure is the Lord. Yohan realized the difference in power, but he knew that he had to show the power of himself in front of all these people so that he can be considered as true Chun Ma, leader of the demonic cult. I will use my best. There was no need to hide the chi of the sky demon. Yohan awakened the ominous demonic energy sleeping within his internal energy. He only used this to form force chi until now, but when he wielded IOT entirely onto his body, black energy began to rise up from his body like steam. The terrifying energy filled the great halls, as if a terrifying monster or a dragon was roaring within it. What? This can't be. Elders were shocked to feel the different energy arising out of Yohan's body. The power coming out of Yohan was terrifying and so powerful that it gave chills to their bones. Sky Demon Sword that wielded Blue Force Chi then was covered with Black Force Chi. People gasped with astonishment. Be Black Force Chi. Chapter 240. 
True Successor. Part 7. Its force chi from Father Chen Ma. Someone recognized what it was. The legend said that Chen Ma, incarnation of the demon god, swung his sword that wielded black light. But it wasn't just in the legend anymore. Chen Yuan's body stopped from being pushed back. It didn't mean his energy grew. But the demonic energy was forming Yuan's force chi to become more powerful. What is this power? The Lord also seemed to be shocked by the power. If Yuan's power was to defend against the level of difference, then there was no point in fighting with the power. I can't just claim my victory easily. The Lord then pushed Yuan's sword to the back and attacked with the sword formation. It was the formation from the sword art of the sky demon that sword demon had recreated. 18 sword movements struck down on Yuan's shoulders, chest and various blood points. He's quick. The power of the sword art of sky demon used by a supreme master warrior was amazing. But Yoan's sword skill used by his sword was a better version of the sword skill, sword force of the sky demon. The power of the sword force of the sky demon used with the chi of sky demon activated was beyond the power of just the sword formation. 24 sword movements left the trace of black lights and countered the lord's sword formation. The formation aggressively shot through the lord's formation. Most swordsmen would have been shocked, but the lord was different. Bah! The Lord then quickly moved his swords to defend against the remaining attack. But the power was so strong that he was pushed back. After being pushed five steps back, the Lord glared with more reddened eyes and mumbled, Sword Force of the Sky Demon. It was the Sword Force of the Sky Demon that Chen Yuzhong saw many times through the book that was left at the Lord's Palace. He had tried so hard to learn it as he knew it was the last known martial art made by Father Chen Ma, but he did not know how to use the energy flow and gave up. To think that the 24 sword movement could have this much power. It was surely a creation of genius swordsman Chen Ma. The Lord became serious. He had been grasped in anger until now, but he was now focused on the fight. He is better in sword formations. If Yuan was going to use powerful sword formations, then Chen Yuzhong had to answer by bringing the fight to a higher level. He too had tried very hard to become stronger. Give me your sword. The Lord reached toward the palace guards who were watching at distance. With strong energy force, their swords moved by themselves. Huh? And my sword? Their swords were pulled out from their scabbards and began to hover around the Lord. Soon, seven swords were hovering around the Lord. What? It's an air sword. Clan leaders gasped with astonishment as they watched the fight. The air sword was a highly advanced technique that only supreme master warriors could use. The elders became grim. They thought as the Lord was not sane and still undergoing treatment internal energy, he might not try his best. But if he was using this advanced skill, then it was sure that the Lord was determined to kill Chen Youwen. And while everyone was shocked, Chen Youwen smiled. So, you have come to a similar conclusion. What? Chen Youwen then shouted toward the open gate of the Great Hall. Hu Bong. Then, someone who was stopping palace guards from entering into the hall, turned around and shouted as he took the blade from his back. Master. Take it. It was Hu Bong. Hu Bong used his internal energy to throw the blade as hard as he could toward the inside of the hall. Yoan reached out at the blade that was being thrown at him and the blade was pulled out from the scabbard and white dragon blade was sucked into Yoan's hand, letting him grip the hilt. His right hand now wielded black sky demon sword, and his left hand wielded white white dragon blade. Yoan clashed his two legendary weapons against each other and readied with a unique stance. Ha! Chen Yuzhong shook his head. Do you think you are the first elder? You are a fool. The Lord then swung his sword and reached out at Chen Youwen. Seven swords that hovered above them then began bolted down at Chen Youwen. Ha! When the Lord swung his hand, seven swords scattered to all sides and began unleashing the sword art of the sky demon on itself, as if seven warriors were attacking at once. If Youwen didn't block every single attack, then he was going to die. Cornu Prince. Everyone became concerned at such an astounding attack. But their concern was not needed. Haiya. Yoan shouted and began to move his both hands, creating sword and blade movements. From his right hand, the formation of sword force of the sky demon was used and from his left hand, the formation of blade god's blade skill was unleashed. How can this be? I its right sword left blade. Elders shouted in shock. What Chen Yoan was using was the secret technique of first elder Mu Jin Wen. The lord became shocked. H he's really using it. With the combination of powerful sword and blade formations, the formation countered seven formations coming at him from all sides. All swords shattered through as they struck against legendary weapons that wielded black force chi. Ugh. And as the swords shattered, 
the Lord felt pain from the energy that damaged his organs as it came through the connection from the sword. 